Hey everyone! I'm back today with more My Hero Academia, and I am very excited to see what's going to happen next. Um, if you are watching this early, it means that you're one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. Sending you big hugs through the screen. <laughs> um, and if not, still thank you so much for watching. I hope you will consider supporting me that way. The link is going to be in the description below. Um, so previously on My Hero Academia, <laughs> wouldn't that be a cool job to have, like to be the previously person? Um, so anywho, um, so we had kind of um, a one-off episode last time, the little, the fun little prequel uh, to the movie, which I really enjoyed. Um, but before that, our uh, ongoing story was... Um, uh, more of the licensing uh, exam arc, and I think where we left off was um, they were kind of making their way, figuring out the whole rescue operation thing, and and uh, getting points taken off left and right for things that they were doing, and just kind of kind of learning along the way. Um, and just as it kind of looks like they're doing okay, just as they're kind of like making it by the skin of their teeth they throw a, a, a villain into the mix, and uh, I, I believe his name was Orca. He's like a pro hero, um, and he's he's playing the role of the villain this evening, this morning, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> so um, I see that the name of the next episode is What's the Big Idea? And I think that's very fitting because I'm pretty sure, like I said, something almost exactly along those lines. When I saw it, I'm like, really? <laughs> I mean, I get it. It does make sense because um, what are the odds that when they're doing pro hero work, they're going to be running into either like a disaster is going to be started by a villain or a villain is going to take advantage of that situation with all the heroes in one place, pro heroes, and, you know, try to go in and, and start trouble. So, I mean, I get it. It makes logical sense. But at the same time, like looking out for my crew, I'm just kind of like, really? <laughs> Just when they thought, uh, it couldn't get any worse. Um, but it'll be interesting to see. You know, they always surprise me on this show. I'm always like, oh my god, how are they going to get out of this? And then, you know, by the end of the episode, I'm like, what was I worried about? Or maybe they'll, they'll throw me through a loop this time and I'll be like, oh wow, that... That was awful. <laughs> what happened, you guys? Um, so, without further ado, as you guys know, um, I rant and I rant, and I do try to save the longer rant for the outro. So that being said, I can't wait to see the um, conclusion. Well, it might actually just be the continuation, not the conclusion, of this part of uh, the arc for My Hero Academia. So without further ado, let's jump in, plus ultra. Let's go. Oh, he won't be happy if he heard them say that. That makes sense. Here we go, you guys. Oh, I was right, it is Orca. I mean... Yeah, they're like purposely trying to put them through the ringer, I think, to make sure that they have heroes that can live up to like All Might standards now that he's gone. Well, this is like the SATs, but worse. The music just really like makes it even more like yeah. <laughs> little a uh, little bit of tension there. Huh? 
気氷結を防がれたからだお前が合わせてきたんじゃねえのか俺の炎だって風で飛ばされた Did he just sabotage Todoroki? Or was he trying to help? Or both? Um. Oh. That's why he turned down you, eh? Oh, this is a terrible time to be having an internal crisis. Thank God for Izuku. You guys! He's so enthusiastic! You just kind of can't help but love his enthusiasm. Oh no, you. No, honey, no. You got this. I mean. Uh, I just, I just feel like, I just feel like a both of them probably lost a ton of points now. I'm glad they're both like working through it and not like letting it overcome them. <laughs> Izuku's just like, whoa. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Oh. Yes. Yes. See? I look at I'm proud. I'm proud that they're turning it around. Oh, he's doing it. Polishing those frog skills. Sweet! Just like a real frog! He put them in quite a hairy situation. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This music, though! What's the decision? Okay. Oh. Mm, oh. Oh no, you can't leave me on that. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, just he's like scanning for his name. Oh, this this show it, I feel like the show kind of hates me sometimes. <laughs> to leave me at a cliffhanger like that. Oh my god. I feel like he did okay. I don't know about Todoroki and, and the passionate guy. I feel like they turned it around, but I just don't even know. That was a big flub. All right, you guys. That was so good. Um, I had no idea it was going to be a Todoroki-centric episode, but he's like one of my favorites, so I'm so glad that it was. Um, it was interesting that we finally got to see why... 
Um, okay, they said his name. It will take me a while to learn his name, but the guy with the hat, the passionate guy. I actually, I actually really like his character. Um, I think he's interesting, but I cannot remember his name. Apologies. And he's not on my shirt since he's not in Class 1A. Um, but it was interesting to see, like, why he had such a big problem with Todoroki and Endeavor. Um, I mean, just knowing what we know about Endeavor, it's not hard to imagine that, like, if somebody kind of sort of knew anything about him, they might have a problem with him. Um, but it was, uh, it was interesting to see, like, how such a small interaction, like, it goes to show how pro heroes have such a big effect on the public, even other than rescuing people. It really, um, it makes sense as to why All Might, um was the number one hero and inspired so many people because he was always, um, in addition to, like, the power that he had and everything, he just had such a good message and a good rapport with the public. And, like, you can kind of see that Endeavor does not <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, so it's amazing to think that, like, a small experience like that kind of impacted him so much. Um... And it makes sense that, uh, you know, if he had an encounter with Todoroki before Todoroki had worked through all his issues with his dad, you know, that that would have been, it, it's, that would have been his experience was to think like, wow, like I see that same hate in his eyes. Um, it was hate for his dad, but that hate for his dad was making him like his dad. Um very interesting that they would come back around to, you know, the kind of person and the kind of, um, the kind of, um, attitude that Todoroki had before, you know, that whole arc that we had where, um, he kind of starts to work through his issues. Um, and I like that. I like that it's not just, okay, Todoroki's all good now and we're just kind of never going to talk about it again. Um, there's been a couple times where they brought it up, um, and I thought it was interesting that he kind of had this moment in this episode of like, you know, I thought I had worked through it, but is that kind of creeping back into my life now? I love that they would put that on the table because when you have something in your past that is so hard to deal with, you know, if you start working on it, then great. Um, and you're aware of it. But it doesn't ever really go away, you know? It, um... It's something that you kind of deal with on and off um, if you've had something like happen to you in the past or had like um, issues of that magnitude in the past. Um, and I like that they touched upon that because it does kind of, it makes it a little bit more real and believable that like, yeah, you know, he, he worked through a lot of that, but, you know, something you've been dealing with your whole life, that kind of um, hate and resentment for someone so close to you, that it doesn't go away overnight. Uh, so was, I thought that was really, really cool that they brought that up. So glad that they worked through it. Um, they both really, in the heat of the moment, were able to deal with, uh, with their issues with one another, and I thought that was cool. I was flipping out, like, how could you possibly be fighting in a time like this? Um... And we'll see how that affected their scores. I just don't even know. That was a pretty big flub. Um, but they, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Like, if you're a pro hero, it's not going to make you not human. Um, they dealt with it. They reacted accordingly. And, I, and I, I hope, I hope the scorers take that into consideration. I know even Orca seemed pretty impressed. He was like, yeah, like he was talking to his guys afterwards. And he was like, yeah, you know, um, even... Even, like, uh, like they were talking about their suits and everything and how the flames affected them. And he's like, no, even, like, without the suits, trust me, that that flame was legit. Um, so I love the way that um, that they both worked together at the end. Um, and it was this unspoken thing. Like, they were both kind of dealing with it personally and then were able to kind of non-verbally communicate it to each other to to work together and put the flames in the wind together and I think like Todoroki was using his hot and cold together um which we we know like he's been working on but he hasn't really I don't think he's really done that to that effect yet has he I don't know um but that was really really cool 
Um, I love that Izuku is there, like, even when he's not in the forefront of everything. Like, I love how it was Izuku and his words that put Todoroki on this track to begin with. And Izuku coming in and being like, what are you doing, bro? Kind of started to snap him out of it in this episode. Like, I thought it wasn't something they harped on a lot, but it was a nice little, like, oh, yeah, it's, it's Izuku's voice in here kind of, uh, kind of being like, get your head in the game. Um, so I love that. I thought that was great. Um, you know what? I think everyone did a pretty good job. And I can't wait to see what the results of the tests are. Oh, it was cruel to end on that Midoriya looking for his name. And then they cut me off. Why do they hate me on this show? <laughs> what is the big idea? Um... Great app. I uh, can't wait to see more. Um, I'm going to, you're going to be able to tell by my shirt, but I'm going to jump in right now and, and watch the next one. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Plus Ultra. Bye.